But first, it's important to note there will not be a curfew in Hillsborough County, after all, at least for now. In a last minute decision, the county's emergency policy group decided instead to move forward with a safer at home order in effect around the clock. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser shows you what the difference is and how it's likely to affect you and your family. Motion carried 8 to 0. Hillsborough's emergency policy group voted unanimously to adopt a 24 7 safer at home order, dropping what some members thought might be confusing hours and the word curfew, which Hillsborough Sheriff Chad Cronister had described as unnecessary. I think that the word curfew is doing nothing but causing more panic in an already panic stricken community, Mr. Chair. I'd like to see us strike the word curfew. Hillsborough also put some teeth into its decision, changing what was originally a safer at home directive, like the one that Pinellas County had adopted earlier this week, to an order. That distinction gives law enforcement agencies in Hillsborough County legal authority to patrol businesses and break up groups of people that aren't social distancing. We really need to get this under control. We need to get the economy back moving. Everybody needs to get back to work. And, you know, it's just, I think it's necessary. The safer at home order still lets everyone go to the store, the doctor, the bank, even take out from restaurants. You can walk your dog, ride a bike, or just get some fresh air. I hope you can go out to exercise because I really need these walks. And businesses can keep on doing business as long as they're defined as essential or able to maintain a six foot distance between workers and customers. Well, I think the city's pretty well shut down as it is now. I think people are gonna feel better like they're doing what's really necessary to stop this as opposed to taking half measures. Hillsborough County's safer at home order is scheduled to go into effect Friday night. No word yet on when or under what circumstances it will eventually be lifted. For a more detailed look at the order, which activities are allowed and which jobs are considered essential or exempt, you can find that information on our website, WTSP.com. We also caught up with Hillsborough County Sheriff Chad Cronister about how he will enforce the new order. We're not going to be stopping cars. We're not setting up police checkpoints. We're not turning our county into a state of police. You know, a lot of this is going to be on the honor system, asking individuals, hey, do what's best for you your loved ones and the rest of the community to help us stop the spread of COVID-19. But if you don't listen and we know it's for your own good, you could find yourself in, you know, in jail. And I think that's important that this order is enforceable.